when it comes to editing movies, there are a lot of platforms you can use. Uh, I mean, there's a vast uh, array of platforms. But the two that really comes to mind uh, is uh, Kinemaster and uh, Windows Movie Maker, which is the one I'm going to demonstrate today. And Kinemaster, I guess it's uh, better to use when you got uh, smartphone only uh, movies. You can edit those through your smartphone. Uh, but today I'm going to demonstrate um, Windows Movie Maker for those of you that want to edit on the uh, on your uh, desktop computer. Um, it's a free, it's a completely free application. You just uh, just Google it or sometimes just look through your uh, program accessories in your computer. I'm pretty sure it's in there. All right, so today we're going to get started editing a movie or a video. Okay, so right now I'm starting off with just the screen. And we're going to do, we're going to go down here and we're going to bring up Movie Maker. And I want to get rid of this right here. Or go to Windows Basic Screen. And what we want to do right now is we want to these are all your settings for uh, downloading or saving rather. And you got, you can go to OneDrive, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, and Flickr. These are all the applications you can download your movie directly to once you're done. Right now, we're going to drop a photo. This is the way you drop your photos and put them in the timeline. Then what you want to do, you want to, well, you take some music or what you want to do right here, you want to take your voice. And this is how you get your narration right here. You want to record your narration. That's what I do. I record narration and then download the MP3. This is your opening photo. So the next one after that, you want to put in your opening video. Uh, you can put it either before or after your video. I mean, your opening photo. That's before the photo. And that's after your photo. I mean, your opening photo. As you can see right here. And this is a demonstration of putting it before your opening photo. And you scroll down and there you can see the picture we had up top. So what we want to do now, we want to get that picture back up top again. And so, wait a minute. Um, here I'm going to. There we are. All right. Uh, you know, I'm just going to. There we are. We're going to move this photo uh, and put it back in front of the video once again. Right, like so and there you go you see how you get an abrupt transition you want to make this transition smooth not abrupt like like it is right now and so in order to do that just tap on whatever frame you want And we want to go to tap on the frame that you want to transition. And then go over here to animations. And well, this shows you all the different type of transitions you can do. Um, <laughs> pretty corny. But the one I usually use, this is ghost transition. I like to call it the blur, or this is the blur. I like to call it the ghost transition. Is that ghostly effect? But the one I usually use is just crossfade. It gives it nice professional look. 
as you can see here. Ah, there we go. See? Just like the movies. That's the one I use. This is the one I usually use all the time. Is the nice crossfade. Next thing I'm going to show you a quick example of uh, putting your um, captions in. This kind of gives uh, people direction as far as what you want to do. And what you want to do also, you want to get your intro music. You know, a quick 10, minute, 10 second snippet of your favorite song. <laughs> Any song you uh, think will go with your uh, video. And there we are. All right. And a lot of times, and a lot of times, you want to match your opening your your opening uh picture up. You want to get it as close to the length of the intro music as possible. So you're gonna bring your marker up to where the tip of that triangle is, and then what you want to do, you want to hit split. And that will essentially cut that part of the music out, and you can match it up to that. And that will give that will the music will match the transition, and it will uh, the music will cut off when the transmit when the transition ends. And we're gonna make a quick demonstration right now. There's no sound, but you kind of get the idea. And, a lot of times you want to also start up your um, um, caption. You want to kind of start it or have it have it start as the music is ending. You give your audience a quick direction on what you're trying to do, or some kind of opening narration. I'm just going to change. I meant to say sample title. And you this is usually how you get it to activate and then I use the the fade uh trend. These are all your trends. Uh, these are all your effects uh for your title. I mean, you had to get pretty fancy here too. The beam of light and and you got another beam of light with uh little bar and then you got a little effects to the side yeah get pretty fancy but the one i usually go with is just a tried and true fate it's a lot more simple that's what i try to do. i just try to keep this as simple as possible right here this is how you speed the video up and uh go all the way up to 64x or 64 times the speed that it's going now or down to 0.125 so you pick your speed we're going to try uh, four times the speed I'll try that out real quick now we're going to try 16 times It's looking a little jumpy, but once you once you render everything, it'll go pretty smooth after that. But right now it's jumpy because we're using full screen, and it plus it's not rendered yet, so we're jumping from frame to frame. But you shouldn't worry about that. And this is thirty-two times, which is very very fast. Yeah, there we go. Like I say, still jumpy because we're jumping frame to frame, but it it smooths out once you uh, get everything processed and rendered. So this is how uh, this is how you flip your, you know, sometimes you'll film it and it comes out upside down. This is how you get your uh, picture back uh, up to the up right side up, and this is just an example of uh, credits uh, and. Uh, also, when you make a mistake, just tap the two arrows up top to the uh, left top corner, and that will just take you back to your previous selection if you make a mistake.
This is how you record your narration. Or you can record narration. You can make a snapshot of uh, any of these frames uh, so you can use it for like a thumbnail or maybe a picture. I'm going to show you a quick example of that right now. Just pull the frame you want, hit snapshot, download it into your folders, save it, and you can use it later. All right, now is about the time you put in your your uh, your narration, and you just take the MP3 file and drop it next to the frame, and then you do just match it up and move it around to kind of match with the with the video that you have. And once again, I use the fade at the end of the video to fade out um, the video back into what's called the outro picture or outro photo. Then you just do some fine tuning as far as fading and, you know, just kind of just kind of do it to your liking, you know, just kind of play with it and. Uh, you know, you can play with the visual effects and the animations and you can come up with the video that come, that's to your liking. This is just my list of videos that I use for upcoming videos and, uh, the intro photos and the outro photos, all the various stuff. I just keep them on file and it's right here. This is my intro. Like I said, put it in front of whatever picture. And then there you have it. You got your, um, this is my, that's my signature intro right here. And I do a quick little fade. And there you have it, fade right into the intro photo. And eventually into the, from the intro photo to the video. Nice smooth intro. Right here, just making fine adjustments to the uh, <clears throat> to the music. Just, um, like I said, just making little adjustments here and there. Once you have all the elements in place, you just want to, um, you know, just fine tune everything. Right here, I just copy the music. Uh, intro music, same as exit music. Just move it from one to the, uh, from one end to the other. And the same with the signature intro becomes a signature outro. You know, you want to add your titles, uh, as far as commenting and subscribing and liking. And there you go. Nice outro signature. And eventually, the, uh, the exiting photo or exit picture. Once again, fine tune, you know, um, all your um, <clears throat> titles and narration. Um, it really makes the video a lot cleaner. Then if you just shot it and uh, loaded it up on YouTube, it's um, Windows Movie Maker. I mean, it's a very, very simple yet very effective uh, tool to uh, edit all your videos. And like I said before, it's absolutely free. Uh, there's no charge for this right here. This right here also is how I do transitions. Meaning when you're going from uh, from one frame of mind to the other. Uh, let me correct that. There we go. Yeah, and this is just a <clears throat> title for my transition. Uh, like when you go from talking about one thing to talking about something else. And the picture also changes. This is it, man. In a nutshell, this is how you do everything. And this right here is... Usually how you save your movie, you do it for a computer, you can do it for the Android phone, smartphone, 
audio only, high definition. I usually go and do it for the computer. Just hit it. Uh, put a file name, and I usually uh, throw it on the desktop and save. And that's your, this is your counter right here. Let you know how much time or how much movie saved. When it gets to 100%, uh, you'll see an icon that tells you to uh, play the movie. And these are your um, uh, uh, desktop samples. And that's the intro right there. And I'd like to thank you guys for uh, watching this video. And hope you find it very effective in editing your next video.